guys, today I'm going to try out some life hacks that I found on TikTok and we're going to see if they really work. And I'm so curious to actually find out whether it's real or not. So we're going to try it out together today. So the first hack we're going to do is a DIY foam cleaner. And do you know that actually most of our phones are dirtier than a toilet bowl seat? Can you imagine that? Especially when you put your phone like right beside your face. If it's dirtier than a toilet bowl seat, it probably has like bacteria on it. What? And that's gross. So the first thing you need is rubbing alcohol. This is 70%. The first thing you need is a spray bottle. So you need to use one part of water and one part of alcohol to make your cleanser. Easy, right? Let's do it. Oh, are you sure there's water? Are you sure? I don't think it's water. We're gonna put one part of water to one part of rubbing alcohol. Just estimate, I guess. <laughs> You pour the entire bottle of rubbing alcohol. Oh my god, it feels really warm. Exothermic reaction. I learned this in school. Alright, so let's give it a little shake. Spray on some tissue. We can wipe your phones. So after cleaning it with the foam cleaner that we made, I'm sure it's cleaner. So now it's okay if I put my face over there. I guess it's a pass for this hack. Let's go to the next one. So now we're on to our next tag and this tag I mean just looking at it, I, I feel a bit like dumb doing it But basically we're supposed to make a face mask Disclaimer, this is not gonna prevent you from any viruses You're just gonna look like you have a mask So what you need is a kitchen towel Two rubber bands And a stapler and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna fold up your kitchen towel back and forth Kitchen towels ain't gonna save your life, girl! Fold it down like this And you're gonna staple it And then we're gonna do the same for the other side Ta-da! Okay, so after stapling Is it stapling? Stapling! After stapling, it looks like this And the moment of truth! Ta-da! What? It's so small! <laughs> I'm gonna cover my mouth <laughs> I have a piece of tissue, I'm gonna try again. Stapler, stapler, stapler. Let's hope it works this time, okay? I gave it more space to fit my face, so let's go. Aya, it's horrible. This is not gonna work. <coughs> oh my god, I think it's more dusty than the. <laughs> like the tissue. I think this is an absolute fail. Next. So, you know the coronavirus has made all of us a little bit panicky and some people have been going crazy on the toilet paper hoarding. So, what do you do if you have no toilet paper? Let me share with you a very embarrassing incident of mine. There was once when I was back in secondary school, I really needed to poop, okay? So, I went to the toilet and after I finished pooping, I looked and I realised that there was no toilet paper. But I brought in my school bag and the best thing I had was full scat paper. So, I had to wipe my full scat paper and it hurts. Oh no! And yeah. But I survived that. Thank God I have full scrap paper. And now, I'm going to show you a hack if you were to ever end up in a situation like me and you have a piece of paper or your receipt or something, it might save your life. You take a piece of paper or any kind of paper you have and then maybe, you know, fold it and tear it into an appropriate size. So what you do is you gotta crumple it and crush it and then you open it and you crush it more and you start doing this. Crinkling the paper really hard. Uh, and I really feel the paper becoming much softer. Give me a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It becomes the texture of a very high quality toilet roll. Would I wipe my butt with this? If I had no choice. Yes, I would. <gasps> it works! Thank me if you ever use it, okay? So, I've been seeing this on TikTok and everyone has been trying it and it's actually the wit coffee. So apparently you have to mix a few ingredients together and stir vigorously until you get some like whipped texture and pour it on top of milk. And it looks really nice. I don't know how it tastes but I'm not a coffee person sadly. Let's start. Some instant coffee powder. One tablespoon of sugar. But doesn't instant coffee already have sugar? Whatever. One tablespoon of hot water. Start the timer. So I decided to change it into a bigger bowl because like you need to stir it very vigorously and I already dirtied my shirt so that's not a good start guys. It's been like 3 minutes and I don't see much changes. 
I'm back with my weapon of choice. Come on, please work. So we've been staring for about like 10 minutes or so and nothing seems to be happening. It might be because of the type of coffee that we are using so we decided to try to use another type of coffee. Three-in-one coffee powder and we're gonna try it to see if it really works this time. That's what it works. Let's go. Oh, it smells really good. <gasps> when I whip it, I can feel it like become lighter. You know what guys? Let's just do this again. People created inventions for a reason, right? To use it! I was very excited just now because I thought there was like a difference, but I think we gotta stop right now. And I'm gonna say that this is a fail. Next. I give up. But who still does a bottle flip? You should be embarrassed. We're gonna try because they say if you put salt into the water bottle, you can always perfect bottle flip. Maybe I can really do it without the salt, okay? Go! I think there's not enough water. It should be like one third. Let's try to add more water. Here we go. Okay, time to put salt. Do we have to swirl it around? What's the science behind this anyway? So let's just shake it around a little bit. I'll be speechless if it really works, okay? Are you guys ready? Three, two, one! Oh, it was close! Wait, maybe I'm just really bad at this one. Okay, let's put more. I think I saw it. Seems like it balanced a bit better. One, two, three! we have here is to open a can with a chopstick because you can't do it like that, right? You can't! You just can't! Apparently, you have to go in circles until the can magically pops open. So I'm thinking like in what circumstance or situation you will need to open your can using a chopstick. But now that I think of it, right? You know sometimes girls, you have really long nail extension and it's really hard to like open your cans. Let's go! Oh my god, <laughs> you smell it, it's getting burnt. It's more likely that we start a fire than anything. It's the absolute rubbish eh. Why, 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 why can't you just do this? Wow! Why can't you do that? Next. So apparently the next hack is supposed to teach you to make baby wipes or wet wipes with kitchen towel and a few other ingredients right here. And the first thing you need is a kitchen roll and you need to chop it in half. So, hiya! You're supposed to actually use a full roll, but I did not hold on toilet paper and kitchen rolls. So I shall transfer it to the other roll like this. So what you need to do is to take this kitchen towel roll that you cut in half and put it in like a container. You have to fill up a bowl with two cups of water and you have to bring it to a boil and then you add one tablespoon of baby lotion, one tablespoon of baby wash, and one tablespoon of baby oil. And give it a good mix. It smells like a fresh baby. After mixing the entire mixture, you're supposed to pour it into this container and leave it for about five minutes. Ooh. Maybe we can roll it around. So it's been five minutes and now we're gonna do the big review. Oh, it came out easily and it's the center of your kitchen roll. Look at that! <gasps> okay, let's pretend to wipe my hands. It's uh, very wet. <laughs> so after wiping my hands, it does not feel good. Would I use this? Would I bring this out? No. I guess you should just buy your own wet wipes. And I wasted a whole row of kitchen towel! So we've come to the end of this video and unfortunately, most of the hacks did not work other than these two, which is, you know, wipe your butt with paper and sanitize your phone with like a alcohol cleanser. Everything else didn't seem to work. I'm not sure if I did anything wrong. So if you guys know or feel like I did something wrong, do leave it in the comments below. And during this period, I'm sure many of you guys are stuck at home feeling a little bit bored. But I hope that our videos can entertain you and we hopefully can find new ways to interact or spend quality time with our loved ones. So thanks for watching the video again. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And watch the rest of our videos since you have nothing better to do! Woo. Bye! <laughs>